welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of have like a two-in-one type of video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream from Dior. Kind of like my little review on it. A lot of you have been asking me how I've been liking this and also wanted me to do a video on it. And then towards the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I use this product, of course. So kind of like my everyday face routine, I have been using this product for like a whole month now and I love it. I've kind of gotten like a routine of products to use with this and make it last all day long and things like that. So I'm really excited to share with you guys my everyday face routine for the past month. It's just been my go-to and I love it. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that eBay's is having double cash back. Now, everything that I'm gonna be using in this video, I will have listed in the description box down below. And each item, I will try and look for it in, you know, stores online and things like that. So I'll try and link it and then I'll also let you guys know how much cash back you can get in that certain store and if there's coupons you can use. So definitely read the description box down below. It will help you save money if you do decide on getting some of these products that I use in this video. Again, eBay's is doing double cash back. If you're not familiar with eBay's, it is super easy to use and I seriously highly recommend using it whenever you do online shopping. Hundreds of stores online do cash back through eBay's, so definitely check them out and right now they're doing double cash back and actually I believe this week they're doing like luxury brands uh, so like Barney's, Coach, Tory Burch, Lancome, Net-A-Porter, um, Colhan so the list goes on so I will have all of that linked down below for you guys it's pretty seldom that you know these luxury brands do double cash back so I highly recommend taking advantage of it while it lasts of course, the other stores that are not luxury also do cash back, and I believe some of them also have double cash back right now. I will just have everything listed for you guys down below. Also, if you use my link down below, you will actually get $10 when you make your $25 or more purchase on Ebates. So definitely check that out and take advantage of this amazing sale. I do a lot of online shopping, and I know you guys do too. Definitely check them out, you guys. If you have any questions regarding Ebates, feel free to leave it as a comment down below. I would love to to help. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my review on this BB cream. Alright, so first of all, this is what the BB cream looks like. It's teeny tiny, I feel like, but it is one fluid ounce. Um, again, this is the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. It says right on here that it is Nude Glow Skin Perfecting Beauty Balm with Sunscreen. So it has SPF 10 and I believe this comes in four shades. There's four shades on Sephora at the moment, but when you read the description, it actually comes in five shades, so four or five. I do have information here on what it claims to do, so I'm gonna kinda breeze through that. So this baby cream is meant to moisturize, smooth, protects and corrects your skin. So this provides the benefit of like a skincare. It has a fresh and airy formula and also it is enhanced with mineralized floral water in a blend of antioxidants. So this has an illuminating, kind of like fresh, glowy and dewy finish. It's really, really beautiful. I love it for every day. I think it looks so natural. I absolutely love the packaging of this. It does have a pump and it's kind of like the squeezy tube thing. I really like it and also it has the CD on the cap, which is like my initials. So that just really makes me love it even more. Um, this product comes in, like I said, four shades on Sephora, but it's said to have five shades. But I've only really seen four shades. I've seen fair, light, medium, and deep. I have here medium, and you can see it does blend into my skin perfectly. I really like it. I feel like even though there's only you know, four or five shades. I think it's okay because it's so easy to blend and match with your skin. Now, this has a very sheer coverage. It is a BB cream, so I did not expect it to have like medium to full coverage or anything like that. So the coverage is really light and you know, it feels very lightweight. It's like you're wearing nothing. I really, really love this. Um, you can kind of build it up, but 
not so much like if I really want to cover like a certain area on my skin I go in with a concealer that gives me more coverage than this you know this is really a true BB cream in my opinion it's very light and just sheer it does give you enough coverage though to even out your skin tone so if you have any discoloration on your skin it's definitely going to even that out I really love the finish that it gives my face I have combination skin so I do get oily on my t-zone area and then everywhere else is pretty normal to dry but not so much anymore like we're in spring here in Wisconsin now so my skin is not as dry as it was in the winter I still have an oily t-zone like I said but with this I don't find myself getting oily or greasy or anything like that um, I don't find myself having to retouch throughout the day if anything I would say about like 6 to going into 8 hours I might have to blot my nose but that's pretty much it I never have to like retouch any areas this really does a great job on just like staying put so yeah the longevity of this product is really really good I would say it lasts up to eight hours it doesn't break apart on my nose or around my mouth or anything like that I think it does a great job and I feel like it's one of those products that also looks good the longer you wear it so would I recommend this product? I definitely would. I highly recommend it. Uh, it is $45, so it is pretty pricey, but I think it's so worth it. Again, I've been using it for a month now, and I feel like I still have a lot of product in there. A little bit goes a pretty long way with this product. I think this product is just perfect for those who love wearing little to nothing. Kind of just like a sheer coverage on your face. Something that looks very natural and dewy. Um, I really like that for every day. Even when filming, I have worn this so many times in my videos. And you guys always compliment me on my skin and how glowy I look. And I feel like this is it. Like, I love it so much. If you are someone who loves medium to full coverage, then I don't recommend this. I don't think this is something that you will love. If you have acne and a lot of like discoloration and scarring is not gonna cover it up because like I said it is very very sheer and I think that's about it I will have like a whole blog post on this product I will link it down below for you guys so if I miss something it will be on there hopefully this helps you guys out on deciding to get this or not and now let's just go jump into my face routine Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be applying is my moisturizer and I'm using the Caress Greek Yogurt Smoothie Moisturizer and Primer. So this is actually kind of like a two-in-one thing. It's really amazing and I highly recommend it, you guys. I keep going back to this product because it's really, really good. And again, it's a two-in-one thing, so you're like skipping a step. But I love this product. creates a great base for makeup, you guys. Also, I'm going to be applying the Amazing Cosmetics Line Smoother and Primer. I use this because I always get some creasing underneath the eye area. And also, my foundation tend to break apart under my nose. And I always get some creases on my smile lines. So I apply that in those areas. So underneath the eyes, around the nose, a little bit on the nose actually too. And on my smile lines. And ever since I started using this, I have not noticed any creasing on my face. I love this product. I also like to spray my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water in between makeup application. And here we are with the BB cream from Dior, the Dior Skin Nude BB cream. This is what it looks like. I love the packaging. So what I like to do is I pump a little bit onto my fingers and then I go on ahead and just kind of like dot it on my skin just like that wherever I need the coverage. And pretty much I just do it all over the face and then I go in with my Real Techniques diamond sponge this is my favorite sponge it is damp and yeah I just go on ahead and blend in the product I'm using patting motion kind of like bouncing the sponge on my skin I don't drag or anything like that um, but yeah this is the BB cream right here I love it so much I hope you guys enjoyed the review <laughs> 
Like I mentioned earlier, the BB cream is pretty sheer and sometimes I need a little bit more coverage. So I'm going in with the concealer and I'm applying this onto my under eyes just like this because I want that area to be a little bit brighter. So I apply it underneath the eyes and then I do create kind of like a triangle, like upside down triangle. I also like to apply it on my nose and around my mouth just like that because I do have some darkness around there. And to blend this all in, I'm just using the same sponge as I used for the BB cream. Again, I am doing kind of like patting motion, bouncing the sponge on my skin to blend all of this in because you do not want to drag. Once I have everything all blended, I like to set it again with the primer water from Smashbox. I just really love this product because it helps make my makeup stay on longer. Now I'm going in with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I love doing this before I fill in my brows because I feel like this helps me really see where my brow hairs are. Like, you know, it's kind of makes them wet and makes them stay put where I want them to be and then I can really see the areas where it's sparse if that makes sense so I don't overdraw or overfill my eyebrows and I've been really liking how my brows have been looking lately using this method so that is that now I go in with a powder and this is from Lancome it is one of my favorite powders ever and I'm actually using a small sponge to do this and what I'm doing is pretty much just dabbing the powder underneath my eyes just like this so on the areas where I tend to crease I like to do this it's kind of like baking but you're not applying so much product I'm pretty much just pressing the powder into the skin and yeah I also like to apply it around my nose area so pretty much where I do crease a lot and also where I get oily now i go into filling in my brows and i've been using this one from maybelline is so great it is totally comparable to the one from anastasia like the brow is and also the benefit precisely my brow and this is so much cheaper so i have been really loving this product so i just do little strokes like hair like strokes so it looks natural and then i like to go into powder again just to set the entire face pretty much my center part of my face um, and I use a brush to do this just like lightly dust powder all over my face um, especially around the brows uh, I don't know why but I like to do this and it helps make everything kind of look all blended and blurred out and it looks good so that's what I like to do <laughs> and then I go in with my bronzer and this is from Hourglass I am obsessed with this bronzer it gives me such a nice glow and it doesn't look muddy on my skin um, so anyways I do kind of like a light contouring with this product I don't really like to do like precise contouring so this is just what I do like I bronze and contour at the same time using one product and then this is the blush that I've been loving is from Marc Jacobs I'm not sure what the color is I'll have it listed down below but I've been really liking this one it's kind of like a nudie color I think it looks pretty um, I'm also taking the bronzer on the crease of my eyes just like this really roughly blending it in and then I go into this palette right here and I'm just gonna take that color right there the lightest one and apply that on my brow bone and also on the first half of my lids pretty much so the inner part of my lids just lightly dusting that on there just so my eyes have a little bit more dimension and yeah I just like to do that so I don't do much on the eyes. I like to keep it simple for every day, you know. Um, now I'm going in with an eyelash curler, just really lifting them up and curling them up, prepping it for mascara. And the mascara I've been using is the Dior mascara. I absolutely love this. I don't like the price, like I said before, but it's so, so, so good that I justify it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just doing a few coats of mascara on my lashes. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Um, on my lips, I didn't show it, but all I have on is my Dior Lip Glow in the color pink. It's kind of like a lip balm.
And this is it right here, you guys. This is the finished look. This is what I do on an everyday basis. It's just, you know, very natural and effortless looking. I really love how glowy I look and just fresh. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you're shopping online, definitely use Ebates. I will have the information down below. If you have any questions or video requests, feel free to leave it as comment down below as well. Thank you all so very much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell as well so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you here again on my channel. Bye!